friends, it's Deanna here and today we're working on the Be Trendy uh, top and this is such a great pattern and it's free. So if you don't have it, go get it right now. It's a free pattern from Ellie and Mac. Woo! Uh, so we're going to go ahead and sew it up. But before we do, let me remind you about our Fun Fan giveaway where we give a $50 Ellie and Mac gift certificate to one of our um, subscribers. So all you have to do is subscribe and comment below and let us know what you like about our patterns, what you like about our videos, anything at all, and you'll be entered for a giveaway, a $50 Ellie and Max gift certificate. So yeah, that's awesome. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna grab our band, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our um, corner and fold it down one fourth, and I actually went ahead and did the other one, that way you didn't have to sit there and watch me do all of them. So then after we fold one quarter inch in at the end, we're going to go ahead and fold it wrong sides together at half. Then after we fold it wrong sides together in the half, we're going to fold it halfway down into that half mark both sides are going to come into that half mark like fold in to that half mark that we just made you can do one side at a time if you like you can do both sides at the same time like i'm doing either way will work just fine but i like to get everything done at once so that's why i do both of them at the same time so after you fold those in, we're going to fold them down the middle together. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. So as you can see, first you folded the middle crease, then you went both sides into the middle, and then you fold it down the middle to the side. And what I'm going to do is we're going to top stitch that one close. So it'll be one straight stitch. I'm doing a uh, my cover stitch, but any kind of stitch, zigzag stitch, stretch stitch, double needle will work. now finished and where you fold it a quarter in that's your end so this is the other side I'm gonna grab my front I'm gonna put it right side up and I am going to put these straps the end that I did not fold down the raw end right here on the in the middle of my strap and if you want, you can actually, uh, you can actually baste them if you want to baste them on. I'm just gonna pin them. But if you want to baste them on, you can baste them on. That way, when you go to sew the other parts on, it doesn't come apart, doesn't fall off. But I'm being a daredevil. I'm just going for it. I might end up regretting it. Now I'm gonna grab my liner and I put it right sides on top of that um, outer and I'm gonna pin all the way around and I'm gonna sew this raw edge all the way around the arm side up the shoulders down the neck up the neck across the shoulder down the arm side again and not we're not gonna sew the sides we're just gonna go all the way to the, the down the arm side so all the way up round down up over down leave these two open okay 
So we're going to go ahead and do that all the way around. And we'll move on to our next step. All right, so I have sewn all the way around and flipped it over. Look at this, how cute it is. I love it. It's going to be great. And I love uh, the pop of color of the orange. It's pretty neat. So, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to grab my... Um, bottom, my back, I'm sorry, liner and outer, and I'm going to put them right sides together. So here's my top of my liner and my outer, and I'm going to put them right sides together, matching at the raw edges. And I am going to sew that raw edge together right here. I'm going to sew that raw edge together. And I'm using my serger again. So this is my back. Now that my back is put together, I'm going to open it and I'm going to steam it. I would like to steam it from the wrong side so I can see which way the uh, seam is going because if, if it wobbles, if it goes one way and another way, if it goes like both ways, it will give a wrinkle effect on the other side and I don't want that so I just want to iron it on. So now I'm going to grab my top, my front, and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to line up the front and the back, the liner and the outer. So we'll start with one side. See that? So we're going to line up our first or seam that we just made with the seam of the top of the, uh, of the, um, with the seam of the front. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. A front. And we're gonna go down to the side. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go down the other side as well. Down one side, the liner, and the outer. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, making sure that the straps, look at these straps right here. You might want to tie them up and kind of pin them in the middle or something because you don't want them to get in the way when you're sewing and you end up sewing them to the sides and then you're like, ooh, that is not okay. That is probably not what I would say. <laughs> I'd probably be a little bit more mad than that. <sighs> but yes, I'm going to the side. And that's another thing. I don't know if I mentioned it when I was sewing around the neckline. Um, to make sure those straps don't get cut in there as you're sewing around the neckline. You always want to just... The only way, the only part that you're sewing the strap on is right at the shoulder seams. You know, when we pinned it there, that's it. Everything else, like don't let your strap just, you know, flop down and get cut in between the in the war zone. So I'm going to go ahead and straight stitch. I mean... Uh, not straight stitch. I'm gonna straight, I'm gonna stitch so straight. I know what I'm saying. Alrighty. I sewn both of my sides now. And I'm going to remove the pins. Sometimes I forget to remove the pins and then it looks all wonky and I'm like, what's going on? Why does it look all wonky? And then I realize I left a pin in there. All right, so now I'm gonna open it up. There it is. Look at that. My tank is basically done. Okay, let me tell you this. This is a little secret I'm gonna give you. If you want to, if you don't wanna do a band and you wanna make this tank reversible because it basically is, 
um, you can just fold your liner and outer hem right now and fold it in like your outer you fold in and your liner you fold this way and you would place them right on top of each other like so and so the uh, hem right there just like that and it would make it reversible you would have this side and this side because everything is fitted in so it's it's the same I mean you could wear it this way and you could wear it this way but if you want to if we're, if we're doing the band you'll have a seam of the band on the inside um, and actually I, I don't even, I don't know I'm trying to think how you could have no seam on the band hmm I don't know that you can but okay so what we're gonna do with the band is we're gonna meet it wrong sides together if you know how to do that make the band reversible let me know let us know we want to know okay and so I'm meeting the band wrong sides together right down the middle this fabric wants to roll a little bit because I cut it I am I don't know how you are but I am the person who will cut all the way to the edge I mean I'm telling you I'm gonna use every single piece of that fabric that I can and this is really cute fabric so I'm like I'm using all of it so I, I go all the way to the edge all the way and that's okay if it if it folds a little bit I'll just sew right over that and it'll fold it and it'll come up it'll be fine it's just I like to use every little bit that I can I only had one yard of this so um, I wanted to take advantage of everything so that was just a memory of uh, steam seam thingy whatever you call it um, memory press memory fold <laughs> because now we're gonna meet it at the short edges make sure it's not crooked meet it at the short edges right sides together and we're gonna sew them close to make it one continuous band I don't know why my strap keeps coming down I need to tighten it a little bit not that you really care Okay, so now that it's one continuous band, this is where the memory press thingy that we just did comes in handy because now you're gonna have to turn it around and fold it wrong sides together again. And now you already have that memory press hem thing, whatever it's called, uh, memory line, memory press, memory fold edge line thing. Uh, already done. So it's a lot easier than having to start from scratch. Yep. Okay. So now I'm meeting, I, I met the raw edges. I'm gonna give it a good steam again. It's always good to steam. It's never too much steam. So if you're ever in doubt, steam. Okay, so now we have the edge right here where the seam is, where the two seams meet. This is where I sewed it together. And we go to one side and that's our half right here. Then we meet the half, the two halves and we go to the sides and this is our quarter. And I'm just notching. Um, it's just a little tiny uh, quarter, uh, like a triangle piece that I take off just so that I know when I'm sewing it onto my top so that I, I can see where that's at. Um, and it helps me. I'm just trimming these edges because they're going to be sewn in so they'll be fine. So anyway, the two seams, the side seams, those are obviously the halves. And then we're going to go to the front. And then we're gonna do the same towards the back. So I'm gonna go to the front and mark it. Mark it, mark it. And then I'm gonna do the back. I don't know why I did that. That is, um, so I worked at preschool. I worked, um, I taught four year olds for a while. 
and um, we do the five little piggies. You know, this little piggy went to market, market. I don't know. <laughs> so now whenever I mark something, I will say market, market. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. So this is the back of my top. See the back, the straight line? And I'm going to put that seam right at the back I want because that's I, we only have one seam on the band, so I want that one to be right in the back um, so nobody can see it. And so I'm matching up those quarter points with the raw edge of the band. So the raw edge of the band matches up the raw edge of the shirt. Raw edges together, right sides together. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the side seam, match up, and then the same thing for the front seam, match up, square up, match up, line up, um, and then finish the other side. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and sew around that raw edge, making sure our we're catching all four. Oh, my, I'm already starting. Making sure I'm catching all four uh, parts of the fabric, the two band part and the two uh, liner and outer of the top. So we want to make sure we're catching everything. So that's four layers. That was one quarter and then I pick up and move to make sure that I line them up good and I continue that way all the way to the end always make sure that you moved everything out from underneath So I like to steam from the inside, like I said earlier, so that I know which way my seam is going. If I'm going to make it go down, then I'm going to make it all go down. If I'm going to make it go up, I'm going to make it all go up because I don't want wobbly seams. If you want to top stitch, you can. If this is up to you. Now I'm going to make sure I steam from the top too. This will. And my top is done. How cute is this top? This is for my sister. Um, she's going to love it. How cute is it? I love it. I love this fabric. I just love like all the different splatter of flowers everywhere. Um, and... I'm excited and this is a freebie so yay for free patterns um so yeah please let me know what you think about our tutorial please let me know if you enjoy it please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did um, if you do just post it below comment I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible um, if you have not joined our Facebook or Instagram page, please come join us so you can see what everyone's making and see all the new patterns coming out. Um, we want to see what you're making as well, so come let us show us what you're making. Um, also, if you have not subscribed, pause right now, go subscribe so you never miss any more of our tutorials, and so you can be entered to win a $50 Elliot Mac gift certificate. Um, so that's all I have for you all today. Please come see us next time. You have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.